Roger Lunch, along with Steve Stafford Jones and Bill Walton. I'm Mike Green. Lewis Johnson will join us shortly. Of course, the Lakers have been dominant over the past couple of years, but the Kings appear to have narrowed the gap. The question is, Bill, have they narrowed the gap enough to dethrone the champs? Absolutely not, Mike, because the Lakers, they have the best coach. They have the two best and most dominating players in Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. Shaq's numbers are down due to injury, but he's doing what's necessary. Kobe has become the most skilled player in the league since the days of Michael Jordan. He continues to amaze us on a day-by-day -day basis. Those are the kinds of plays that are going to keep the Lakers' defense at bay. Oh, Jackson told, told us that he expects Kobe Bryant to get significant minutes against Bibby. Bryant knocks down his jumper. Now, Bryant has been huge, obviously, in the fourth quarters, but Phil Jackson told us yesterday he wants Bryant to be more involved looking for a shot early in the game. So he'll be keeping their poise, something they have not always done. They pick up technicals, get upset with the rest as O'Neal drops it in. That's going to be an important factor for them. Back in Shaq, he got the fabulous athletic oh, oh, pass from Rick Fox on a given go. Vladi Divac is doing a good job. And Fisher does a good job. That's a two-pointer. So Rick Allen wants to chat. Bill Jackson says, we're underdogs because we start the series on the road. Not so far. Well, you know what the Lakers have done is shoot a high percentage, and they've gotten their stars off the mark. And these kind of plays oh, give them a great deal of confidence. Oh, 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 oh. In six, uh, they want to swing the ball whenever they can. They don't want to keep it on one side of the floor. So when it starts in, they want to get it back around the other way, which makes the defense move. And that time they didn't, and Christian Evans finished the shot. Fisher with a perfect pass to Kobe Bryant. And a Lakers now an 11-point lead. The execution of the triangle offense. Flawlessly devised by Tex Winter, perfectly executed by this squad. And another turnover. King's starting to get very sloppy. Two on one break. And Bryant another easy basket after the feed from Fitcher. Does Adelman call a timeout here? The crowd is stunned. A superb start for the Lakers here on the road. Bibby lost it. Bryant has plenty of time. And the Lakers continue to dominate. And Phil Jackson right up off the bench saying we have a foul to give. Yells it out. Almost another turnover. Weber does not get it off in time. Shot does not count. And that ends the first quarter. Spectacular shooting for Kobe Bryant and the LA Lakers. 67% from the field. And Kobe Bryant leading the way with 10. Mike Bibby can't handle it on the pick and roll. He tried to go away from it. The dribble just came away from him. And Kobe Bryant, who else can finish like that? And turnovers hurting the Sacramento Kings. Five here in the first quarter. 14-point LA lead after one. Scoreless thus far. He's got the ability to put up some big numbers offensively. Well, with this lineup, Kobe Bryant is going to look to take more. He's got nine points to lead the Kings in scoring. Bryant, Wallace, the rookie on him. <laughs> I mean, what do you think he's what, thinking out there? He's Wallace, thinking, he's not thinking. <laughs> what, what can you do defensively about it? You pray for the guy to take a shot like that. And he squishes it. Wallace gets inside. Nice feed. So Wallace comes right back and sets up Christy beautifully. Sacramento's attacking the hoop. Don't, don't quit here. Don't give up. Just keep your relentless attack. The, the chance of it turning is right there for you. goal to get this down to, you know, five, six points by the break. But the Lakers making everything. And I mean, they are making everything right now. You just got to weather the storm. Whenever Kobe is attacking like this, all you do is make him take that tough shot. If he makes it, tip your hat to him and make sure that you don't give up something easy. But uh, the Lakers are on the money this afternoon, and it's been tough for the Kings so far. Kobe Bryant, 14 points and four assists. Lakers by 13. Delivering peak performance on command, Kobe Bryant, who has scored or assisted on 11 of the 21 Laker baskets, has just been simply perfect today. The backdoor cuts, the basis of any offensive attack. Transition, finishing high above the rim. Breaking down defender, shake and bake. Again, the back cut and playing above the rim. Kobe Bryant 
in the last four games at Sacramento over the last two postseasons. 38 points a game. I mean, what more can you ask from this guy? He is the most skilled player in the game today, the most skilled player since Michael Jordan sitting on the bench right now with a quick rest. And you see the all-around game from Brian, who had 48 points in the clincher last year and scored in 51 points against Mike Nolan. Nolan said after the game, he'll never do that on me again. Two weeks later, they played good at 51 again. <laughs> so he backs up what he says. And he's been accomplished as both a player and now in the front office. It's important to value every possession, get good shots, and try to take care of the basketball. And this game one, can you speak to the value of the and the importance of winning this game one in this best of seven here? But Christie left wide open. Christie over the neck down the jumper. Chris Weber with a nice pass after drawing the double team, but as this series goes on, if he doesn't execute better footwork down in that low post in that left box, it's not going to happen for Sacramento. The crowd desperate for a King's run. Bryant. Christie stays with him, knocks it away. Excellent defensive play. Bryant will try it again. With two on, knocks it in. What a shot for Kobe Bryant. <laughs> That's a heartbreaker right there because you do everything and the ball comes right back to him. And then he dumps one down on you. Ori with the foul. Too deep, and so he's not even going to let him get a chance to go to work. But with Kobe Bryant seemingly shut down, everything seems as if it's going to just totally fall apart. You cannot make a more difficult shot right there. He's got two guys lunging right at him. He's falling away up against the shot clock. He's just too good. I don't know. <laughs> if, you're, if you're Sacramento, run everything right at him right now. Check him out. Lindsey Hunter, meanwhile, back in the game for the Lakers. Bryant spinning. Count it. Doug Christie made a swat at it at the last second, and Bryant with a chance for a three-point play. He three throws on double tech to this. Uh, what watch Kobe work here, and he's spinning, working his way. Christie stayed with him, and watch the little push on the hip down below. Not much, but they give it to Kobe. Christie is at his hands full. Stays right with Bryant, who puts it in. <laughs> That's the problem with trying to beat the Lakers. Not only is you get Shaq out of the game finally, so you get a little bit of a respite there. Jackson draws the foul as he goes to the hole. We're starting to see some hard foul. A little extra chirping. As Devin George picks up his fifth, and Bobby Jackson will shoot two. But when it all breaks down, you just give the ball to this guy. Is there anybody in the game today who does things like this? I, I don't know, Steve. You, you think of anybody that... Did? Well, I, I like that. I give you a list. We start with Tracy McGrady and work our way back. But I mean, you know, he's just making shots, and he has been making big plays when they've been needed, and that's why it seems like they're so memorable. Two point seven more. The Kings have been strong from the free throw line, fourteen of fifteen, but they still foul by nine. But the fans will not let the Kings die. Christie really bellying up on Bryant. Gets inside, puts it in. Every time they need a big bucket. Kobe Bryant. Dude, I got to come back on you on this. There is no way you can guard this guy. You're too close. This guy is the most skilled player in basketball, and he is torching whoever guards him. Whether it's the San Antonio Spurs, whether it's the Sacramento Kings, line him up. Kobe Bryant. Oh, I got him. That's got to be an offensive foul. He hit him with his elbow. And elbow and forearm right in the face. And Doug Christie had him played perfectly. Fourth foul on Christie. And for Sacramento, their 14th foul. Let's take a peek. This is what happens when you play too close. You can't react to that. That elbow catches him, but it wasn't an intentional elbow. But when you're playing glove tight, you're going to get hit. Home with the, with the best record in the league. Christie trying to get very physical. And then Christie throws Robert Ory. And this is frustration a bit for Doug Christie as he picks up his fifth foul. O'Neal has not taken a shot yet in the quarter. Gets his own rebound and won. Shaquille O'Neal with the second effort. And it's back to an eight-point game. Lottie relaxed. 70% for a guy who's shooting 83. Concentration here and knocks them both down. And a lead back up to seven. Chris Weber and the Kings made a run in the fourth quarter. Cut it to five. Well, that's the closest they could get.